a great shooter off a screen who knows how to read him. Draws so much attention. A little better job by Taylor that trip. Here he is again. Dixon lost it out of his fingers and got it back. And they have now 10 seconds to shoot on the Cincinnati side. Dixon wants to do it. Here's Yancey Gates. And well, suddenly they're not falling for Cincinnati. Well, you know, they got stuck late in the shot clock simply because they didn't give the ball into the post at the proper time. Stevenson and Gates, two for ten since the second half started. Brown right down the lane. He's been the difference maker for the Panthers. Boy, I'll say. Hired Pete Carroll. And both those coaches, both those programs were under NCAA investigation. You want to start holding people accountable. You don't just say institutional control and take away a few wins. You start holding people accountable by firing those that are in charge. And Mike Garrett is in charge, and he should be tomorrow. Well, a couple of years, a couple of years ago, they had a meeting at the Final Four, and they had all the bodies of basketball, NBA, shoe companies, etc. And they really are trying to address. And I think in the next couple of years. As we get back to playing here, a nice inside pass. And was strong to finish the play. That's big time. And you know, can't one, finish the three-point play. One add on to what you said, though, Jay. You've got 20 some odd sports. Is the AD responsible for everything in every sport? And if the coach or others don't inform him, how in effect is he responsible? I think that the athletic director is primarily responsible for football and basketball, men's basketball. And he's again. Stepping up to help and finding. There's no way that Mike Garrett wasn't knowledgeable about the O.J. Mayo situation when he was recruited and when he matriculated to the University of Southern California. Everybody knew about Rodney Gillard. Everybody. And they chose to look the other way. Now, I don't consider that to be as big of a deal as some other people do, but it is against the rules, and if you're going to hold coaches accountable like they are, and burn them at the stake for these violations. I think the ADs should be right there with it. Well, they have lack of institutional control given to ADs, which is not the best scenario for an athletic club. Yeah, so but they, it could still happen. But they never get canned. You never see that. You never see an, an investigation. All of a sudden, the athletic director gets canned. Nick O.J. Mayo recruited Southern Cal. It's giving it up on the wing. Here's Brown. Got it. Well, they've had some easy looks the last minute or so. Been by far his best performance of his young season. And to have his maturity, his athleticism, and his toughness back in the lineup, you can see how much better of a team Pittsburgh is with Gilbert Brown on the floor. Gates off to Vaughn. They don't need a deep shot. Something going to the rim, and they got the small change on the bounce. And a shot before the basket. And the foul, I should say, before the basket, foul on the deck. And hits the first. So he can give them instant offense. He makes them both. For Cincinnati, it's about getting a stop and getting a big rebound. They have been given up middle. Is Brown a hot hand driving to the basket? Little bounce couldn't get it to go. Timeout hit the deck and a tie up. Possession arrow keeps it down on this end. Ball. Brown trying to make a move here into the lane. That one floated off and rebounded away by Gates. Well, this is the Yancey Gates that I expected to see when this season started. It's 13. Dixon thought about that baseline. It was sealed. I think Gates got to be bigger in there and hold this guy off and beg. Vaughn at the foul line. The spin move. Lost it. 66-64 pit. Every time the window opens a little bit for Cincinnati, Pittsburgh closes it. Well, they're denying so much on the outside. That's why they're being able, Pitt's able to dribble, drive. You gotta respect the bounce once, on the, once you catch your guy on the catch. Under two minutes, seven to shoot. And a wild shot along that baseline by Gibbs. Yeah, he got hit. Yeah, he did. 
Maybe a little out of control, and that's why the referee didn't call it. He got hit. Off target. Bishop couldn't find the range, and that's been the case these last several minutes for Cincinnati. They've gone cold. Did you see the check out there? Oh. Everybody had a body. But you know what, Bill? You work so hard to get the ball, and then you take a quick jump shot instead of attacking the rim. Dribble hand up. Just get down to the box and bang. Pitt with the ball and the lead. Wanamaker on the baseline. Spin Thanks. moving, traveling. Oh, I watch it. Jamie's going to get a tee over there. He's got to be careful. And Cincinnati with the ball. 119 to go. Down two in their home court. Two man game with Stevenson and Gates. And Buck Dixon is a good defender. He can frustrate you. Stevenson wants it on the drive. Look at them collapse. Great defense. Of course, the issue. As he gets older and more mature, he'll make better decisions. It's amazing. What, what a valuable player for this team. Plays the best guy on the opposition perimeter. Yeah, well, Dixon was shooting. There's a long way to go. There's lots going to happen in this game before this one's over. See if they run a little double screen or a pin down. They got him. Vaughn jumping into the paint. Can't bank it in. Well, they got a good shot, too. And then 24 out of 32 in the second half to ice that game against Syracuse. Mm -hmm. well, I'm over 68%. Unusual. They'll try to get to the basket. Boy, look at the mismatch inside. That was Gibbs on Gates. Timeout. Oof. I had no problem with that foul call. Vaughn with the ball here for the Bearcats. Dixon swings for Bishop. Trying to free up Yancey Gates. He's into the lane. Pretty. Oh. Didn't touch anything. Wow. Boy, he had a good, clean look. And a giveaway. Vaughn fouls Dixon in the backcourt. Yeah, if you see the foul. A nice little turn here. I thought this was an easy. I don't know what happened with the ball. Well, he looked like he got hit by Brown. Looked like he knocked it away just a tad. But, you know, that's where I think Bishop needed to go more. And he used to do with Temple. Make sure they don't go over the top on a miss. But the results have been very similar to what we've seen over the last eight years. Well, this is just the fourth game this season. They've had the entire roster available. How about Vaughn not giving up? The 19.2 left in front of him. The pick is the not screen. Dixon brings it across, and Davis immediately fouls him. So great for the Terrapins when they won it all in 2002. Boy, nice to have experience on that line. Now, you want to force him defensively to use time, and you got to get the blow by. Vaughn pretty good at it. Vaughn with the leaner. Got two. 71-69. Timeout. Mick Cronin in Cincinnati. Way and they win. Nice play by Gibbs. Get it into a guy. And they're going to give it. What a heads-up play by Gibbs. 94%. Eight for eight at the line for Ashton Gibbs. No money. The maturation so fast of this pit team. I mean, it's a tribute to the coaching staff. One again. Yeah, very quickly down for two. A mistake away now. 2.9 seconds left. We got a hold before the ball's inbounded. But when you're fouling Ashton Gibbs, you have to expect that a guy that's made, what, um, 44, 46, whatever it is 46 in a row. Now, 46 yeah. in a row. He's going to push that to 48. You're not going to have enough time left. <laughs> well, conventional wisdom out the window. Thank you very much. <laughs> 74 71. Give them a nice cushion. Trying to get it in, running that baseline. They got him going away from the basket. Davis with the heave. Good and defense. That's how it ends. They defended it well in the final score. Pitt 74 and Cincinnati 71. The Pitt Panthers hang on and knock off Cincinnati and the Bearcats home court.